everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today I'm gonna to show you seven different ways of taking a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. But before we pop inside of there, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I made so far for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So let's start this video off with probably the most well-known way of taking a screenshot, and that is with the volume rocker and power button. So if you go to the volume down and power, if you press and hold on both of those at the exact same time, you'll be able to take a screenshot. And then from there, you can do a little edit and you can also share it instantly. The second way to take a screenshot is one that's called a palm swipe to capture. And that is when you take the bottom of your palm and you swipe across the majority of the screen. And you can do that either from the left to the right, or from the right to the left. No matter how you're holding your phone, if it's with your right hand or your left hand, you're able to take a screenshot that way. Now you do wanna turn on this setting and I believe it is turned on through stock, but if for some reason you try it and it does not work, then this is the settings to turn it on. Click on the settings icon, and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now inside of advanced features under here, you're gonna scroll down to where it says motions and gestures because it is basically a motion with your hand to get it done. And you wanna turn on this setting right here, palm swipe to capture. Now this just gives you a little bit more details of what's going on, but really this is the toggle that you wanna turn on with that little blue indicator light, letting you know that it is turned on for palm swipe to capture. Really quick before we go inside of the third way to take a screenshot, I'm always curious on how others take their screenshots. So write a comment below the video on your process or if you learned a new way to take a screenshot with inside this video, again, let me know in the comments below. So the third way that you're able to take a screenshot is by your app's edge. Now, if you scroll over and you don't see this option here called task edge, all you'd have to do is just go inside of your settings on any of those edge panels and just scroll over to where you see tasks edge. And then once you turn that one on, then you're able to move over into what you see here and then you're able to tap for a screenshot. So this is actually very simple. If I'm holding on to my phone and I wanna take a screenshot, I'm not able to have you know two different hands to do a palm swipe to capture or use my fingers to do the volume down and power. It's really simple. I open this up, tap one button, and then now I'm done and over. So this one is one of my more preferred ways to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy Note series. The fourth way to take a screenshot is by using Bixby. So if you have it all set up, all you'd have to do is go, hi Bixby take a screenshot. The fifth way I found to take a screenshot is by using an application called One Hand Operation Plus. So if you noticed, I just did a simple swipe from right over there on the left-hand side, and it took a screenshot for me. So how you're able to set this one up is that you're able to download an application here called One Hand Operation. You can get this off of the Galaxy App Store, you can get it off of the Play Store, and all you'd wanna do is turn on, what I did anyways, was the left handle. So I have this one turned on. You can also have a right handle, but because my edge panels is over there, I don't want it to kind of you know, interfere with the other. So with the left handle, I have my, my diagonal up as none, diagonal down as none, long swipe is turned off. I have my transparency pretty high so you don't see that little baby line over there. I made it to be pretty small because I don't need it to be large. I just want it to be right around there. You can change the position on where you want it to go. So I put it in the middle of the phone, pretty small, high transparency so you're not able to see it. And pretty much everything else was kind of turned off over here. So simply all I'd have to do, which you can barely now see it, is do a simple swipe on and now I'm able to take a screenshot. Now the last two ways of taking a screenshot on your Galaxy Note 10 is a way that's a little bit more controlled. It's a way that it doesn't have to be saved automatically inside the gallery and you're able to take an area of the screen that you wanted to have a little screenshot of. So if you have your S Pen out, if you hit on the S Pen button, it pulls up your little air command and this is where you have Smart Select. So right here, I'm able to select the area that I want to basically have a screenshot of, and now I'm able to share it directly. If I want it to be saved in my phone, I can have it saved if it's something I want to keep, and I don't want the rest of the phone, just this little small area that I can save it to my phone. But if I share it with somebody, then I can just hit on the back button just a couple times, and now I'm not flooding my gallery with screenshots, I just wanted to send something off. Now the other way you're able to do that, other than the S Pen, is going to be pulling over your little edge panel, swiping over into your Smart Select, 
click on rectangle and then once you place this where you want it to go and this is really the only stuff you want to send to somebody or save to your phone then this is another way you'd be able to do it you can hit on share send it to somebody put on facebook twitter and it's not going to be saved in your phone as long as you hit back or you are able to save it to your phone if this is the only small chunk that you want to be saved. So now you have two different ways. You can have a controlled space with smart select, or you can have five other ways of taking a full screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here at the very bottom left-hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.